Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Nilesh Bead here with us who's recently gotten out 247.ai as a part of his campus placements as an intern in FTE. He's here to share his interview experience with us. So 247.ai is also a super dream company in VIT, super dream in the sense 10 lakhs or above salary. So eligibility criteria was that all CS, IT and circuit branches were eligible with a 70% or 7 CGPA in both 10th, 12th as well as in college with no standing arrears. These students were eligible. Now let's talk to Nilay. Hi Nilay, welcome to my channel. So, uh, firstly congratulations on your placement. And you. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, so hi, hi Jishnu, hi everyone. Uh, thanks uh, for uh, having me. Uh, I, uh, I'm Nilay Veer. Uh, I'm fourth year B.Tech uh, student pursuing engineering in uh, electronics and computer engineering uh, from VIT Chennai. Uh, so currently I'm doing an internship with uh, 247.ai and I also have an FTE there uh, uh, which will be starting after my engineering. Okay. Okay. So can you na tell us about uh, the process of hiring, like how many rounds were there and what they had? Okay. So during placements, uh, the, uh, I mean, uh, there were uh, uh, three, uh, three ra four rounds of uh, uh, the interview process uh, recruitment process mm. so first was the test uh, part uh, so the test had uh, four sections uh, one was uh, aptitude uh, which was I mean, quite easy uh, uh, thing 10 questions in 10 minutes uh, but uh, it was MCQ and it had a uh, negative marking as well okay uh, then the other section uh, was uh, analytics uh, it, uh, same thing, negative marking was there, but uh, there were 10 questions in 20 minutes. Uh, then uh, the third section in the test uh, was MCQ, uh, uh, technical MCQs, okay. uh, which had uh, uh, questions regarding data structures, uh, hoops concepts, and DBMS. Okay. So, I mean, uh, like, uh, what will be the output of this, or uh, some theoretical uh, uh, technical questions. Hmm. Uh, that was uh, 10 questions in 15 minutes, uh, 15 odd minutes. Uh, and the last section was uh, the programming part. So in that, uh, there were uh, medium level uh, programming questions there. Uh, language was uh, uh, free to choose. Uh, you can choose any language you were comfortable with. Uh, that was two questions in 45 minutes. Okay. So those were like uh, easy to medium level questions uh, like uh, Playing around with uh, uh, problem solving uh, strings and two uh, D arrays and time complexity and all those. Hmm. Okay. So after uh, after these, uh, the there was a short listing for interviews. Hmm. Uh, so interview had uh, three uh, rounds itself. Uh, hmm. First, uh, first was the technical round, and in that. Uh, in the beginning, they asked me questions from my uh, resume, like uh, in-depth uh, working of my uh, projects that I mentioned. Hmm. Uh, then uh, uh, about the internships and experience that I had. Okay. So as I mentioned, uh, uh, I was in a former student team. Hmm. So I think around 30 to 35 minutes of my interview uh, was based on that uh, discussion only uh, the work that we do in the team okay uh, both technical as well as the managerial mm. part mm. Uh, so regarding technical as well they asked me to uh, write the arduino code as well as uh, i mentioned it that we do that oh, okay. in the team mm. so after uh, the team's uh, part uh, they asked me to share my screen Hmm. and open notepad and they uh, asked me to live code so in that in first technical interview they asked me uh, two questions uh, those were uh, I mean, uh, pretty uh, medium level stuff uh, uh, link list uh, to check uh, if it's a palindrome or not hmm. and one was uh, regarding uh, two dimensional arrays uh, finding index of the element okay. but with uh, some uh, time complexity scenario hmm. Hmm. So uh, that was it about the first technical interview. Okay. After that, uh, they called me for another technical interview. So in the second technical interview, the uh, they uh, directly straight away asked me to share my screen and uh, code. So they this uh, was a bit uh, tough uh, side uh, 
tougher side of the uh, questions so like uh, they asked me about uh, binary search tree okay uh, then stack queue uh, using uh, stacks and queues hmm. and uh, then uh, after this i uh, somehow managed to uh, clear it and uh, after this they asked me a uh, few dbms queries uh, uh, to write few dbms queries as well hmm and uh, also later they asked uh, few theoretical uh, oops concepts uh, and few keywords as well okay so after this uh, i got uh, shortlisted for hr round hmm. so in hr round it was bit easy side uh, i'll say for personally for myself uh, they asked me uh, basic questions like uh, why uh, did you I mean, i stay in so why did you choose chennai for engineering mm. then uh, my family background mm. uh, then if i will uh, like to relocate to bangalore uh, that, that's my job location so if i like to relocate to uh, bangalore and uh, majority of my hr interview was uh, regard again regarding the uh, team I, i mentioned i was a manager in team so Hmm. most of the questions were on operations how do we operate in the team and how, what are the responsibilities being a manager so okay that was it for hr interview hmm. after that uh, we got the results and i was selected selected okay okay that's great uh, thank you for sharing your experience and uh, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into 247 ai in general for placements if you are a beginner so i mean uh, you start with uh, uh, applying uh, learning applying how to how to apply logic first and then uh, go for a language and uh, there is no uh, shortcuts for uh, placements you have to work i mean you have to study every day for placements and also placement season can be uh, cruel at times uh, you know facing lot of rejections uh, not getting shortlisted and all so don't give up because uh, especially for vitns there are a lot of opportunities coming even now uh, placements it's are going on yeah. so in that aspect vit is at uh, par with top uh, university i'll say regarding mm. placements mm. so opportunities will be there uh, you just need to be confident uh, uh, especially in interviews you need to, you do not show un- uh, under confident mm. uh, that is a, a negative point they also so yeah uh, okay. all the best for placements <laughs> okay yeah thank you so much and thank you for coming and sharing your experience thank you thank you for calling me